Hello, amazing human beings, and welcome to another episode of Splayed into a Martian. At ang pag-uusapan natin ay ano nga ba ang pinaka-effective ng mga paraan to manage stress. <laughs> Now, I have been working as a corporate trainer slash motivational speaker for the last 11 years. Ang dami ko na pong ituro na iba't ibang paraan kung paano po mag-manage ng stress. Ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ay yung mga pinaka-paborito ko. Yung mga sure ako na effective talaga. Marami na po ako nakatrabaho na iba't ibang mga tao from different walks of life. Mula po sa mga presidente or CEO ng multinational companies hanggang sa mga frontliners katulad po ng mga magigiting po nating gas boys or fast food crew at maraming iba pa. And what I can tell you is this, kahit po anong trabaho, kahit po anong estado natin sa buhay, wala po sa atin ang nakakatakas mula sa stress. Right now, it's even more important for us to talk about how to manage our stress because of the pandemic. Kahit po siguro sinong tanungin ninyo sa buong mundo during this time, lahat stress. Na-experience na po ba ninyo yung sa sobrang stress ka, sa dami-dami ng problema, hindi ka na makahanap ng solusyon? Kasi napansin ko po during the pandemic, more and more people na nakakausap ko are expressing that level of stress. They are unable to tap into their creative minds to find the solutions. <laughs> Number one, simple lang. Breathing. <sighs> Huminga ka lang. Itong paghinga ginagawa to ng mga nagyo-yoga, ng mga nagme-meditate. When you focus on your breathing, how you inhale and how you exhale, na talagang dinadama mo yung pagpasok ng hangin sa ilong mo at paglabas nito sa iyong bibig, nakaka-relax po siya. Mas maraming oxygen yung pwedeng makaabot sa utak natin at nakakatulong yon sa decision making mo. <laughs> Kiritin mo sarili mo or tingin ka ng picture mo nung high school ka. <laughs> or do something silly. Uh. Mas silly ang ginagawa mo, mas effective kasi mas matatawa ka. Ako minsan ginagawa ko, pinapanood ko yung mga aso namin kasi nakakatawa talaga sila. Ang dami silang behaviors na funny. So, another one of my favorites is to actively list down things that make you happy. I'll give you some examples. Ha? Maglilista ka talaga. So go ahead, if you don't have a pen and paper handy, kumuha ka ng ballpen, kumuha ka ng papel, sasabahan ko kayo, I will also write things down. Think of five things. Five things lang ha. Five things that you like about yourself. So pwedeng physical, pwedeng emotional, pwedeng ugali mo, pwedeng talent mo or strengths mo. Isip ka na. You have a minute. One minute para mag-isip. Okay, and time is up. I-share ko po sa inyo kayo yung mga nasulat ko. And then later in the comment section, kwento nyo rin sa akin yung five things na naisulat mo if you're willing. Okay? Number one, sabi dito something physical, my eyes. So, my eyebrows ko. Next! My ability to adjust my communication depende sa kausap. Kahit na sino pong makausap ko, kaya ko maging flexible. I love that I am a pet lover and I love that pets seem to love me as well. Kasi kahit yung mga random lang na pusa sa kali, ganyan. Pag nilapitan ko sila, tinet ko sila, kahit masungit sa simula, parang bumabait. So I love that about me. Piling ko gift yan sa akin ni Papa Dan. Ah, ito. Number four na sinulat ko ay, I happen to have a very strong self-awareness. Alam ko yung pagkukulang ko bilang tao. I can change my behavior. I can improve my results. I can apologize if I have to. Next, I like that I forgive easily. Hindi po ako nagtatanim ng galit. Minsan nga kahit di na mag- Sorry, okay na din. Kaya kong magpatawad ng mabilis. Oh, oh, ikaw, ano naman po yung naisulat mo? Sa mga willing mag-share dyan, I would love to hear your answers. Please go ahead and type those five things in the comment section below. I really like this list because when you think about those things, you can't help but be in a state of gratitude or pagpapasalamat. Na-appreciate mo bigla yung mga bagay na meron ka sa buhay mo. And gratitude really is one of the most potent ways on how you can manage your stress better. The last technique na sobrang paborito ko na instantly pag ginawa mo itong bagay na ito, makakaramdam ka kaagad ng sense of comfort, the havening technique. Yung original version po nitong havening technique ay mahaba. I will give 
give you the short version na kahit nasa ka pa mang lugar, kahit mag-isa ka lang, pwede mo siyang gawin and immediately, you will feel a sense of calm and relaxation. Mas kaya mong makaisip ng creative na mga solusyon sa mga pinagdadaanan mo ngayon. How do we do it? Simple lang. Cross po yung inyong hands like this. Hawakan po ang balikat. At pagkatapos, hagurin po ninyo yung inyong mga arm. Hagurin nyo po siya several times. If you feel like you want to close your eyes, that's also okay. And if you want, you can even extend yung inyong paghagod hanggang sa inyong forearms. You can do that. This is also something that you can ask your kids to do. When you notice that they are stressed, ask them to copy you. Demonstrate to them kung paano po siya ginagawa. Sa akin po ha, first three times na ginawa ko yung paghagod na ganun, naramdaman ko kaagad na narelax ako. There's psychology behind it. Kasi usually, pag may pinagdadaanan ka, dito ka hinahawakan ng tao for comfort, right? So by doing this, you're activating all of those times that you felt comforted pag hinahawakan ka dito sa part na yan. Try nyo. Don't take my word for it, really go ahead and try it out for yourselves at kwentuhan nyo ko kung anong naramdaman ninyo. So those are just a few of my tips. Thank you once again for watching and hopefully you try those out for yourself kasi kung di mo sila susubukan, hindi sila tatalam. And once again, please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't done it. See you in the next vlog.